Hello, YouTube. Do you have lots of devices in your smart home that are powered by batteries? Have you been searching for a way to monitor the battery level on those devices and get alerts when they need to be replaced? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve that problem using the custom battery state card, a couple of sensors, a notification automation, and more. So stay tuned. My name's Jeff. Welcome to the channel. I'm a longtime IT nerd that loves to figure out complicated stuff and then simplify it so that it can be done by anyone. Come with me on my journey to learn all about Home Assistant and to smartify all of the things. Now, if you've been following along with the channel, you'll recall that in a previous video, I added a Zigbee and Z-Wave radio to my new Home Assistant instance that I just built on my new Intel Nook. In that video, I added an Akara contact sensor to the Zigbee network so now I've got something with a battery. When you've got a device with a battery, you've got to monitor that battery so you know if and when it needs to be replaced. If you don't monitor it, then they just die and fall off the network until you realize it and finally go and replace the battery. Now, I don't know about you, but all the battery powered devices that I've got are pretty important stuff like door and window contact sensors for the alarm system I'm working on, door locks, water leak sensors so I know if I've got a burst pipe, temperature and humidity sensors so I know if my HVAC system is broken, all very important stuff. I need to make sure that those things are working at all times. Let's get right into how I'm handling the monitoring and alerting of this stuff, shall we? We'll start by taking a look at my old Home Assistant dashboard since there's a lot more stuff in there. Here you can see my battery view on the dashboard. The battery icons for each device change colors based on the battery level. Next, let's take a look at the automation I'm using for notifications. I've created a binary sensor called devices with low battery. When that sensor turns from off to on, I send a notification to my phone. Pretty simple, but it alerts me to go and look at my battery page to see which device needs a new battery. To set this up, first we're gonna go to hacks. If you don't have Hacks installed, I'll leave a link in the description to a previous video I did where I showed you how to install it. Next, we're going to search for Battery State Card. Click Download. And then Reload. Then go to your dashboard and edit the dashboard. Add a new view. I'm gonna use the battery icon and the URL will be batteries. Then I'm gonna add a new card to that view. I'll leave all this code in the description so that you don't have to pause the video and try and type it while you're watching. You'll need to change the entity and name info to your devices, and then just keep adding new entity and name information for each of the devices that you have. Next, we'll need to edit configuration.yaml to add the sensor. This code will also be in the description below. The sensor automatically looks at every device with a battery and checks to see if any of them are low. The highlighted portion here is a list of all the battery sensors that you want to ignore. I ignore things like phones and tablets, but you can modify this to ignore whatever devices you like. Now that we've got the platform sensor, we need to add a binary sensor that we can take actions on. Things like sending notifications or changing icons or colors. That sensor is this highlighted bit of code here. Once we've done that, let's add a button to our home view to navigate to the battery page. I'm gonna start with a horizontal stack and then add a mushroom template card. If you need to learn about mushroom cards, I'll leave a link to that video in the description as well. The entity will be the devices with low battery sensor. Then for the icon, I'm going to paste in this bit of code. That will change the icon on the card if any devices have a low battery. For icon color, I'm going to paste in this bit of code here that will change the color to red if anything has a low battery. For primary information, I'm going to enter batteries and then set the layout to vertical. 
Default action will be to navigate to the batteries view we created and no action for hold and double tap. There you go. Hmm. Sorry, you guys caught me slacking off while I was doing the tech stuff. My bad. This was super quick and easy to set up, but it provides a ton of value to any home assistant installation. As for giveaway announcements, the winner of the 1000 subscriber prize did contact me to claim that prize, and he does live in the continental United States. I'm gonna get that shipped out to him right away. In fact, by the time that you're watching this, it might have already gone out. However, I'm still looking for I am Mike underscore 20 and Mr. Roma 70 for the 500 and 750 subscriber Amazon tablets. Time is running out, guys. What have you been doing to keep an eye on battery levels for your devices? I'm interested to hear your thoughts and ideas, so tell me all about them in the comments. I'm always happy to learn new and better ways of doing things, and you guys have taught me a lot of new stuff already, so don't be shy. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and give that button a click, and don't forget to ring the stupid bell, and tell your friends all about how awesome my channel is, and share links to the videos that you found particularly useful. I'd really appreciate that. But don't forget to give that like button a smack too. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found the information useful. I hope that you found today's t-shirt humorous, and I hope that I've earned your subscription. I look forward to seeing all your smiling faces in the next video, but until then, go and automate something, will ya?